In geoscience, we use angles all the time, from our angle stacks to well bores to structural dip and azimuth, and most of these angle measurements are in degrees. Most math functions, however, don't use degrees, they use radians. Converting from degrees to radians just requires multiplying the angle by pi divided by 180. Now this conversion is a simple one, but adding these extra terms to your formulas is annoying and makes them much harder to read. Instead, we use shortcut functions 2 radians or 2 degrees to convert from one to the other. Here's a quick example. First, create a phase volume using the instantaneous attributes process. After providing a name, select an input stack, then tick the phase option. Here's the result, and boy is it exciting! This is a handy display for identifying changes in events or decorating a birthday party. However, it can be difficult to pick events when the phase values wrap around. The colour bar shows angles ranging from minus 180 to 180. They're clearly measured in degrees. We can use the cosine function to create a smoothly varying result that we can interpret more easily. I'll create a volume maths process, enter a name, and select an instantaneous phase as input. I can relabel the volume from V1 to something more recognisable, and then enter the formula to find the cosine of phase. Because the cosine function expects radians, and we're providing degrees as input, these results are completely incorrect. Let's fix that. I'll apply the 2 radians function to the volume variable before calculating the cosine. The results look much better. Here's a more complex example. Using volume maths, I'll create a synthetic angle stack from two volumes. One volume of AVO intercept and one of AVO gradient. I'll need a new volume maths process for this. I'll add the intercept and gradient volumes as inputs. Once again, I'll enter recognisable names for the volume variables. This formula approximates a 30 degree angle stack. This simple formula shouldn't be used for angles much larger than that. Once again, the sine function expects radians, not degrees. With the two radians function in place, everything should be good to go. If I turn off the other volumes, I can quickly flick between the full stack and this synthetic stack. Nice! This can be handy for some forward modelling. If you have questions or would like to discover more, then visit our website at www.dog.com. And remember, have fun with insight!